trepidation that this is just the tip of the iceberg. It's killing me. I'm uh, doing uh, a facelift. Uh, I'm even though I haven't made money in two years, I'm doing a facelift to get ready for the season. People are supposed to be coming back, and they're messing around with negotiations. Settle something. And let's get. Uh, let's play ball. Joseph Bastone, the owner of Yankee Tavern on East 161st, is preparing for the worst. He remembers what 2020 was like, as well as last year's shortened season. Nearly 70% of his business is during the baseball season. I was hemorrhaging money. Uh, and again, we're trying to, you're never going to make it up, but you're, you're trying to, to survive and stay in business. This business has been here 95 years. We're obviously going for 100 and past that, but uh, uh, they're, they're killing us. There's, uh, there are places in this neighborhood that uh, are not going to survive. The feeling is mutual down the block at Yankee Twin Eatery Bar. At the end of the day, I don't know what they're going to do. And I got to think for the worst because 2020 was no baseball. And it was a ghost town. Canceling games has a domino effect from the local restaurant owners to the hundreds of employees that work inside ballparks. It's uncertain when a new deal will be signed, but if these two sides continue to remain at odds, there's one possible solution that could work. The worst comes to worst, they're going to do the same thing what they did in 95, replace me players. And within two weeks, they announced it, the players kneel down and sign within two weeks after they announced it. You think that could happen again? Absolutely. And I have strong confidence behind that because you know why? If they could do it in 95, they could sure do it now.